Okay, the top trim is a little smaller. It's a V-shaped trim. Um, you don't have to route it or do anything to it. Just get a piece of this. These are all pretty much different sizes. So you need a piece long enough to do your full top because if you run out of trim and you try to grab another piece, it's not going to match up. They're usually not even close in size. Trim is very similar to the last time. Um, with this V, you want this back flat edge against the back edge the whole time. We always start by cutting the left angle that goes out to the left. So that is over here. Um, I'm going to clamp this. And cut the first angle. And I got the first angle cut. This is really like the base trim. Um, I have a number one, number two, three, and four side. So I've numbered my sides, so I'm going to start with number one. I'm going to align this trim with the top of this base trim, just like we did before. So I lined it up with the one edge, got that like as even as I could. I'll mark a mark on the other edge where this side is. And now I'm going to cut the angle that goes out in this direction. So I have my one going out left. Now I'm always going to do the opposite angle going out the opposite direction. So I always like to draw which way that's going to go so that I know which one of these to put it in. Okay, line my line up with the edge of where the blade's going to be cutting. This saw blade, the saw blade is lined up with my mark so that the right at this yellow fence, the line should be right about there, even with this cut, that vertical mark, or close as you can see, the blade's going to cut there. And then you want to clamp. Yeah. Okay, now you should have one angle going left, one angle going right. You line this up. Does it look good? It seems good.